Uh, I'm Josh Hughes, and I play uh, vocals. <laughs> Can you play vocals? No. You I do know. I sing and play guitar for uh, Fast Moving Mountains. And I'm Corey James, and I sing guitar, and I play the drums as well. Uh, Corey and I met seven years ago, and uh, we started in a small band, and then we just kept going and kept playing together, and then ended up as uh, the Fast Moving Mountains, decided to do it ourselves. After a billion bands? Yeah, after way too many bands. We, we I don't know, we've, we've found a way to kind of blend acoustic songwriting with rock, and uh, you know, I have to drop the whole sensitive side, and then Corey brings in the uh, the rock, the legit side, the legit side, and makes Make it, it too legit. Makes it too legit. Do it. We steal them. <laughs> They're not rightfully ours, but they are now. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've most of our instruments we've collected from ex-girlfriends that have uh, purchased them for us. This is this is actually very true. Yeah, and uh, they've they've helped us out a lot, and. They believed in us more than our parents did, so they ended up buying us instruments and not. Uh, Evelyn, my acoustic guitar, she is a beautiful girl. A lovely lady. And uh, I have a beautiful white electric named Heidi, and uh, she's also very close to my heart. We also have Evgeny. Evgeny's beautiful. The black electric. Hot. So sexy. Snipe show. <laughs> There's also, oh no, Alex is gone. He was lost. Tragic car fire. Yeah, we sad. also have uh, Ilya. Ilya Kovalchuk. I mean... Ilya. Ilya. Named after the great Ilya Kovalchuk. <laughs> Being the white guitar. Yeah. We kind of name our guitars after, well, Corey names his after hockey players and Russian I name hockey players. Russian hockey players. Russian hockey players. Um, well, our, our first show was actually pretty funny. It was a singer-songwriter competition, but we thought it was a battle of, a, a battle of the bands. So we showed up with uh, all of our instruments and uh, drum kit, bass guitars, electrics, big amps. big amps, set up and tried to be as loud as possible. And uh, the you winners, wanna... yeah, the winners <laughs> of the competition had a ukulele and uh, a stand up bass. A stand up bass. Two girls like humming to the, it. The double bass. We scared the, bat, the owners of the bar. Yeah, we ended up having to like, I don't know, midway through, call everybody out and just say, if it's too loud, you're too old. So. Actually, we had that first one where there was like a book club. We played the, for this magazine launch. That's but true. We all got really, really drunk all day. And I knocked all the guitars over right before we were up to play. And they all were out of tune, so we had to get up there and tune our guitars really drunk. And they weren't tuned at all. On stage in front of all of these people that are sitting in pure silence, just listening to us tune. <laughs> And I was, I was so choked, I thought one of the organizers had knocked over all of our guitars, and I was like, what happened? Who threw them all out? And about a, like a, week <laughs> a week later, I found out it was this guy. Remember that time I got so drunk and knocked all the guitars over? Yeah, that, that was pretty good. good. That's a big thing. Uh, our the song that we think we most play is Back to You. Because uh, mums I, like it a lot. Mums love that song, and, uh, and we love that song. We were really happy when we wrote it, and, uh, and I think it we can really portray that when we start to play. Like, everybody can hear that we love playing that song. So. It's usually a combo. I'll, if I have an idea, I'll bring it to Corey and he makes it rock aspect. Or if he has a song, he'll bring it to me and I'll try to do something to it. <laughs> Sing it like an angel songbird. Like Fergie and Jesus combined. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of ex-girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a list of uh, victims that we have that we've we've started and uh, it's called the victims list actually. It is the victims list. I'm so fun. And it's that's no, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ex yeah. Ex-girlfriends. I think are the heartbreak, heartache, anger about it. Um, well, I think one of the best ones that we had was starting down by the river. Like, we used to just go and sit by the river and, uh, and Corey would jam, you know, a little acoustic riff or something, and then I would start singing to it. And uh, if we distracted any joggers from their, um, from their jog, then we knew it was going to be a good song. And if they just kept running by, then... Different song. New they, song. New song. Cut it, scratch it, and start again.
my favorite one lately was the uh, the drunken van rehearsal. We realized that we had a show the next day, and oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> we were like, Re "Well, we really need to practice our set." So we grabbed four forties. Yeah, we did. After a hockey game, and just got loser drunk and uh, played and played. Two hours. Yeah, two or three hours. Most of it was just playing random. Like, it wasn't even playing our set. We got lost we halfway got through. We got drunk. Like, We're just like, this is a cool idea for a new song. This is a, it sounds so great right now. We should definitely <laughs> play this at the show tomorrow. And uh, we didn't. It got cut right yeah. away. I think we forgot it, actually. Yep. I don't might remember. But, well, it sucked. But uh, rehearsals usually are like five or six hours that we're doing right now uh, with the band. And they're sounding cool. Yeah, they sound really cool. A lot. Yeah, we started... and. Of course, we thought we were the best at everything, and uh, neither of us could even play guitar. We just thought we could. <laughs> and now that it's just, like, we've been playing so long together that we don't even need to, like, communicate with each other. Like, we just play something, and we both know what we're talking I about. I get what you're saying. And you're like, I understand you too. Yeah, it's, it's more telepathic now, I think. Our songwriting has become, like, a lot more fun. playing the shows instead of just playing them in the basement and not sharing the songs with anybody because we suck at doing that. Well, actually, lately we're doing better, but... It's, it's so easy just to stay and keep writing songs and be like, yeah, we're getting so good at writing songs and play them for each other and we feel like that's enough. But then uh, you realize that there's all this huge audience that needs to hear them or that wants to hear them. And, and you play a song in front of an audience and sometimes it can be make or break it. It'll either build it up in your in your head, and you think it's really good, and then you play it for somebody, and they're just like, "That's not good at all." You're like, you're scrap. Like, okay. Scrap that. Next song. Next song. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be driving this big, beautiful van across the country and uh, seeing what Canada has to offer. Playing. Anywhere and anywhere we can across the country. It's gonna be sick. I don't know. I'm I'm stoked for Toronto. I think yeah. it's gonna be fun. It seems like the music capital of Canada, so it's kind of where you gotta go if you want to uh, if you want to take a step up and you know go to the next next stage of musicianship. Uh, we 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 knew we wanted to get a, a van to tour in and to drive around in, and we were working with uh, our last band on getting the tour started, and they didn't think it was going to happen. So I, somewhere in the midst, I had a bad tooth infection and had to get a root canal. So my boss gave me some money to get the root canal, and I spent the money on the van instead. <laughs> and I've just been taking lots of Tylenol and uh, and penicillin to keep that pain know, for pleasure. Pain for pleasure. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> uh, play your music to people. Yeah, get out. Get out of the basement. It's the hardest part. Is just taking that step out and getting, getting away from the basement and actually starting to sing to people because music wants to. Do, it wants to be played and it wants to be heard by everybody. So, you know, we've got too many friends that are like actually making great music and they're just sitting at their computers and kind of being nerdy about it. But. MySpace is going to be the quickest and easiest way to get a hold of us, like uh, myspace.com slash fastmovingmountains. Um, and then you can listen to all the new songs that we have, and there's usually lots of live videos of us playing shows. And game ever invented, Destruction Derby 2, uh, was our childhood game, yep. and we played it every night for probably about a year, two years, and uh, so we decided to buy that exact van, and then write the noise that it makes when you destroy their vans, like so.
say I'm a van and be like, <laughs> but then the van comes back to life and goes, oh, death from above, 500 so, points. And that's, that's you, you win. Need. If you get that, you win the game. So, so we figured we'd bring that to life. And uh, this is the last thing that you'll see in your rearview mirror before we smash into you. Before you die. <laughs>